Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Half-Life 2 with Soldier Hawk. I have waited a very, very long time for this moment, so let's not put it off any longer. Let's get started with Half-Life 2. I'm kind of wondering why that is a city scene there and not something in, like, say, Black Mesa, but... Who knows? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Yay! <laughs> Rise and shine, ah! Mr. Freeman. Rise That is not how I was hoping shine. to start this. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest. <gasps> And all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. Oh, great. The right That's man in not the like wrong Mesa. place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Whoa. That was... Okay. I didn't see you get on. This is my third transfer this year. Looks like... Why are they both wearing the same thing? Valve isn't that lazy. No matter how many times I've been relocated, I never get used to it. Well, relocated? Line. Oh, they're overalls. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have what in the hell is going on here? Relocate to one of our finest oh. remaining urban centers. Oh dear. I thought so much of City It's a bright, cold day in April, and the clocks are striking 13. Ow! In the Citadel, that so wasn't very nice. Our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether oh, you are I to don't stay like or this place. Passing through on your way to parts unknown. Welcome to oh, City that's 17. Some good animation. It's safer here. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very, very bad. Oh, that's a vort. Did G-Man enslave them all? Oh, welcome. That's terrible. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to what one of our heck? finest remaining urban centers. This stuff, it's all I have left. I thought so much. Hey! 17. You all right, I'm moving. Son of a bitch. My administration what? Ow! Here, what the in hell? In the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, Jesus. whether you are here to stay or... I hate this place. You ...on your way to parts unknown, welcome Bastard. to City 17. It's oh. safer here. Friggin' push people around. <laughs> Fine. Fine. I will kill you later, I swear. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. <sighs> you have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much Were you the only ones on that train? That oh, a human. Thank my God. Here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our hmm. benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, oh. whether you are here to stay or... <laughs> Valve showing off their new physics. ...on your way to parts unknown, 
Overwatch Crocodile. stopped our train Two in the woods 17. and took my husband for Yet questioning. They said he'd be on the next train. I'm not sure when that was. Did they're, they're being nice, though, letting me wait for him. Oh, this sucks. This so sucks. Where am I, anyway, or when? If you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna bang my head against a wall. This place sucks. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City Seven. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. I hate this place. Ooh. That doesn't look like propaganda. Look, that's the half-life symbol. That looks like anti Big Brother stuff. Welcome. Yeah, by the way, the the guy on the video there is going to be christened Big Brother until I find out his name. They never leave. I thought so much. see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on. But establish my administration here. In the oh, the door, so thoughtfully oh, he's gone. Our go. They're always full. No I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or... I see, they took your suitcase, too. They can't get away with this much longer. I don't think I ever had a suitcase. To City 17. It's safer here. God, these poor people. Dr. Breen again? I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. Well, those are my buddies from the train. Dr. Breen. It's not a very good name for a supervillain. <laughs> oh. I'm working up the nerve Welcome. to go on. Welcome to City you and 17. me both. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish... Oh my my god, even in a futuristic Orwellian dystopia, you can't escape stupid security checks. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or... I really don't like the way they look at me. Welcome to City 17. It's safer here. My ass it is. I really don't want to go in there. Oh, I can crouch. That's good to know. Oh, I'm not groveling to these assholes, though. Well, at least he doesn't want to hit me. Welcome. Welcome to City I wonder if he's human. You have chosen. I can't tell if it's a robot or a, a person in a gas mask. I thought so much of City Oh shit. What, what did I do? Oh, shit. I've been proud to call City 17 Kiss my, my ass! And so, I don't think so. You are here to stay or passing oh, to fuck. Welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Air watch in I totally have to go with you to advance the plot, don't I? My better judgment. This must be a mistake. Mm -hmm. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. Oh, Jesus.
Oh, hell no! No, 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 no. There is not enough money in the world to get me in that room. Not a chance. I'm gonna sit right here till somebody comes to help. Okay, I'm not really gonna do that because apparently nobody's coming to help. But I want to. I wonder why he's not going after me like everybody else, so it seems like with the violence of the other cops he'd just come and he would just come and grab me and beat me till I go in. But he's not. Ooh. I'm getting as far away from you as I possibly can. Oh, please let me find a weapon. About that beer I owed you. What? It's me, Gordon Barney from Black Mesa. Oh my God! The scare I had to put on a show for the camera. <sighs> I've been working undercover I with could civil give protection. you a hug right can't now. Can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. <sighs> yes, Barney. What is it? I know I'm that voice. Hey! It's sorry, Doc, but. Look From the original here. game. Great Scott, Gordon Freeman. I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. Here. Oh, he he's the security the guard. To Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? Find me later. I'll, I'll buy you a I'm beer. Thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better <laughs> idea. Uh, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, <sighs> we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. No kidding. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Ditto. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, oh man, crap. That's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my car. Right. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Okay. Be safe, I guess. Hmm. Out the window. I don't see any windows. Oh! <laughs> nice. Oh, there we go. That's a window. Nice. Okay. I knocked it over. That's some double think. Hey. I can throw stuff. <laughs> I have an idea. Hey, cop. Screw you. Oh, crap. Oh, that felt really good. Oh, miss me. Ow. Okay. Ow. God, these guys suck. I'll 
Although, in fairness, I kind of deserve that for throwing the can at him, but they earned that. Oh, his monologue has changed. Let's listen. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses. And today we hmm. clearly see its true. Instinct has just become aware I'd like to help it, it's not a question. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down. Sorry, I'm still listening. You gotta be damn instinct hungry to wait in line for this crap. A fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own oppressors and bids us rise up again. What is he talking about? Instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct slyly and covertly compels us away from change and progress. Instinct, therefore, must be expunged. It must be fought tooth and nail, beginning with the basis of human urges. The urge to reproduce. What? We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite from this overpowering force. They have thrown a switch and exercised our demons in a single stroke. They have given us the strength. These bastards have made it so you can't have strength. kids. They have given us purpose. They have turned You'll have to wait your turn like everybody else. Let me assure you. Shut off on the day that we have mastered ourselves. Oh, hell no! Can prove we no longer need it. And that day of transformation, I have it on good authority. I bet you do. <laughs> if there's anybody I can. Hey, asshole! <laughs> Oh, that's not gonna get old. Yeah, you missed me, you. What if you actually can throw this stuff in the trash? Hmm. Guess not. Oh well. <laughs> no receiver. Seem fit to suppress our okay. reproductive cycle. Sincerely, cool. a concern. This citizen. must be the plaza. Thank you for writing. Wow. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological impulses. With all its associated hopes oh. and Oh, God, I hate process. those things. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right benefactors? He's talking about the cop Will they things? ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? Because they aren't the acting like benefactors. Your Maybe concern, he's noticed. Rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First. So, so is he an alien pretending to be a human? Ever. As a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical no town, thinking and yeah. revision of our genetic appearance. I can't be seen talking to you, not out here. Oh. It also requires Sorry. planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural precepts. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that the true enemy is... I cannot wait to get a gun and shoot you in the head. Kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks. Kept our first meals of the They're so cool just because they have at the sticks to hit people with. But inseparable from instinct is a dark twin superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulse. That looks like and today Russian. We see its true Almost. Nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. Yeah, it is. Huh. It will not go down. So we're somewhere... Russia, Eastern Europe-ish? 
Just avoid him. Okay, not going that way either. Okay. We should for giving us respite. This overpowering force. Thrown a switch and exercised our demons in a single stroke. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned. Oh, never. They have given us a palace. They have turned our eyes toward the stars. Let me assure you that the suppressing feet will be shut off on the day. Oh. God, this is like a nightmare. Fine. I hate these people. And I thought the scientists in the beginning of the first Half-Life were assholes. If I talk to you out here, what? I'm be in trouble. Is that a giant spider? Oh. I guess not. Have an idea. Where is that thing? Oh, get, get back here! I want to throw this at you. Crap! Oh, I'll right, throw Chinese takeout at you. Oh, whoa! Sorry. All right, it may not do any good, but I'm going to track down one of those spy things and throw this Chinese takeout card and add it. Will it do any good? No. Will it make me feel good? Yes. Because I hate flashing lights. I loathe them. And I hate you. How? That, that did not go quite how I'd hoped. But it still felt good. Okay, now I actually have to figure out where we're going. Oh, like maybe up that ladder. Yep, I think we're safe. Okay. And... There we go. Excellent. I don't suppose. Yeah. He's not gonna let me help. Of course not. What's going on? This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Hmm. Oh, there we go. 
Alright guys, looks like we're coming up on half an hour, so uh, next episode we will explore this building, I guess, and move on. And until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.